So this video is about percent bar models. And what these are is we're going to use percent to find out different information. And that usually, this usually involves finding a percent off of something or taking a percent of something. Um, you figure out tax this way, tip this way, sale prices this way. So it's very useful in the real world. So percents are described as a part to a whole relationship in terms of 100. So this is a percent bar model, and this is what we're going to be using. And sometimes it has a double bar, and sometimes it's just the lower bar. And this whole bar represents 100%, so 100 of whatever you're talking about. And this considers the part and the part. And so if, if this is divided into two, it's half, and half equals 50%. And these are the things that you're going to have to know to divide out the parts. You need to remember your fraction percent uh, benchmarks. You need to remember that 25% is equal to a fourth, that 50% is equal to a half, that 75% is equal to three fourths, that 20% are multiples of 20 are worth fifths, and 33 and a third percent are 66 and 6 percent is equal to a third or two thirds. And 10% is equal to tenths, 10 different parts. And this is like 30% would be 3 out of 10 parts. So finding the percent of a number with a percent bar model, it says what is 25% of 80? And first we would begin by drawing the model. We would draw a bar or two bars, and this would represent the whole amount. The whole is 80. And 25%... We, we know that that's fourths, so we would um, separate it out into four parts. Here are four parts. Then you would fill in the numbers that you know. Well, you know 80%, and then you put your percents across, I mean 80 whole, and you put your percents across the bottom, 0%, 25%, 50%, 75 100 You're counting by 25s, and that's the fourths that you have. Now, you would divide 80 into how many parts? Four parts. So, whenever you do that, you would get 20 for each part. So, now the question is, how much is 25% worth? And it would be, 25% would go to here, and it would be this amount, and that amount is 20%. You could also show it by circling it. So the answer to what is 25% of 80, without really doing any calculations, all that you've done is divide 80 by 4, is 20. So 20 is 25% of 80. Let's look at another one. So it says, what is 50% of 70? Well, 70 is my whole amount, and that is 100%. 100% is 70. And this is 0%, and this is 0 amount. Well, 50%, 50% is half, so I would mark this in half, and that would be 50%. And this is divided into two parts, so I would take 70 and divide it into two parts, and that would equal 35 and 35. So my answer is what is 50% of 70, this takes me to 50%. So the answer is 35. So 35 is 50% of 70. So let's look at another one, 40% of 60. So they filled in what they know, 60 is the whole thing. It's 0 to 100%. I want to get 40%. That is um, a multiple of 20. And we said 20% was in fifths. And this actually says do 10% sections. So, because 40 is a multiple of 10 also. So, 10 parts. And what is 60? And then they, they labeled the percents along here. And what is 60? 10% of 60. Whenever you're finding 10% of something, you just take away one zero. You move the decimal place one place to the left. And so it would be 6 for each of these. Um, and I think that this is 
So six is for each of them. And now we want four of those. So we want to we want to go to 40%, which is right here. And so that would be 40%. And six plus six plus six plus six, or six times four is 24. So the answer is 24 is 40% of 60. And again, what math have we done other than labeling our model and saying 60 divided by 10 parts is 6 for each part, 4 parts would be 24. So let's do this one. Find the percent of a number with a percent with a percent of um, 33 and a third percent of 36. Begin it by plugging in what you know. 36 is the whole, 0 to 100. And we know that 33 and a third is a third of the bar. 33 and a third is one third. So we split it into three sections. And here's our 33 and here's our 66. Now we have to say, I gotta get 36 into three boxes. 36 divided by three is 12, and I want to go to 33%, so that's this. So my answer is 12 is 33 and a third percent of 36. So now it's your turn. What is 20%? of 25. And 20% you could either, either turn it into fifths, divide it in five parts, or do tenths and divide it into ten parts. Um, if you divide it into ten parts, this is going to be a decimal, but that's okay. You can do it. So um, you decide and come back and see how it goes. this far into fifths, five parts, and this whole thing is 25, and so this is zero, and this is 100%, and this is 20%, and 40%, and 60%, and 80%, and it's in five parts, so 25 divided by five parts would be five each, and I want to know 20%, so that's going to be this amount, so the answer is five. Five is 20% of 25. Now, if you did it into tens, that would be okay. I'm not going to write this all out, but it would be 2.50, uh, and that would be 0%, 10%, 20%, 20%, and that would add up to $5, so it's the same thing. It would add up to $5 and be the same 20%. So now let's talk about discounts and sell price. Let's put this into context of um, actual word problems and things that you come across in real life. You are going to buy a new pair of jeans which costs $40. So the information here is that this is $40, the whole amount. 40 goes here, that's 100%, and that's 0%. And it says you get to the store and they are on sale for a discount of 25%. Well, 25% is equal to 1 fourth. So we need to separate this in 2 fourths. And how much is the discount? And then what is the sale price? So um, basically, this is 25%, 50%, 75%. And 40 divided into 4 is 10. 
So 25% of that would be $10. So $10 is my discount. I saved $10. So what is the price? What is the sale price? So this is what I paid. What's left, this is what I took off, and this is what I paid. So my total is $30. So I paid $30 for my jeans. That's what's left after the discount. So here's your homework check. It's just three problems. And um, you're really just finding, I want you to draw a bar model to and label it and figure out the answer for one, for two, and for three. And for three, um, it's a word problem and it's 30%. So you're going to look at taking 10% um, off the bar model three times. So um, do your homework check, turn in your answers, and we'll go over it tomorrow.